What if everything we thought about building bigger, smarter AI was wrong? For the past decade, the path to more powerful AI has been a straight line. Add more layers, more parameters, and feed it more data. It's a brute force approach that has given us models like GPT, 4, and Gemini. But what if there was a smarter way to scale? A way to unlock more reasoning power without exponentially increasing the cost and complexity? Just a few weeks ago, a research paper from a company called DeepSeek quietly challenged this 10-year-old assumption. They didn't just build a bigger model. They fundamentally redesigned how information flows inside of it. This isn't just another incremental update. It's a new dimension of scaling that could change how all future AI models are built. And the most shocking part? It delivers massive gains in reasoning with only a tiny increase in training cost. Today, we're breaking down how DeepSeek just created a new path for artificial intelligence. To understand the scale of this breakthrough, we have to go back to the beginning, to the fundamental building block of every modern AI. For years, as researchers tried to build deeper and deeper neural networks, they ran into a wall. The models would get worse, not better, a problem known as the vanishing gradient. Information was getting lost as it traveled through the dozens, or even hundreds, of layers. But in 2015, a team at Microsoft Research introduced a deceptively simple idea, the residual connection, or ResNet. Imagine you have a stack of network layers. Instead of forcing information to go through every single one sequentially, a residual connection creates a shortcut, an express lane that lets the original input skip a few layers and get added back in later. This simple skip connection was revolutionary. It allowed information and gradients to flow unimpeded, enabling the creation of incredibly deep networks without them breaking down. It was like building a highway system alongside local roads, ensuring traffic could always find a fast path from start to finish. This design became the absolute backbone of the transformer architecture, which powers every large language model you've ever used, from ChatGPT to Claude. For nearly a decade, this has been the undisputed law of AI design. But it has a hidden limitation. While these skip connections are great at preserving information, they are still just a single lane. The information highway inside these massive models is, in essence, a one-lane road. What if you could build a multi-lane superhighway instead? This is where the idea of hyperconnections came in. The logic was simple. If one skip connection is good, why not have many? Instead of just connecting a layer's input to its output, a hyperconnected network would connect every layer to every other subsequent layer. The goal was to create a dense mesh of information pathways, allowing the model to combine features from different levels of abstraction. A shallow layer that recognizes simple edges could directly communicate with a deep layer that recognizes complex objects. It was a beautiful idea in theory, an attempt to widen the single-lane road into a sprawling, multi-lane information freeway. But in practice, it was a complete disaster. When researchers tried to build these hyperconnected models, they were incredibly unstable. The training process would often collapse. By giving the model too many choices, too many pathways, it created a chaotic explosion of gradients. The signals would amplify each other into oblivion or cancel each other out entirely. It was like opening every floodgate on a dam at once. Instead of controlled flow, you get a destructive torrent. The network couldn't learn. The dream of a multi-lane information superhighway failed because there were no traffic laws, no guardrails. It was chaos. And for years, the idea was largely abandoned, a fascinating but failed experiment in the history of AI. That is, until now. DeepSeek looked at this failed idea and asked a different question. What if the problem wasn't the number of connections, but the lack of structure? What if you could build a multi-lane highway for information, but with carefully designed constraints that guide the flow of traffic? This is the core insight behind their new architecture, Manifold Constrained Hyperconnections, or MHC. Instead of a chaotic free-for-all, DeepSeek creates a small number of parallel, independent information streams that run through the entire model. Imagine that original single-lane highway. Now, imagine three more identical highways built right next to it. That's what DeepSeek did. They essentially quadrupled the model's internal information capacity, but they did it in a highly structured way. This is the hyperconnections part. But how did they avoid the chaos that plagued earlier attempts? This is where the manifold constrained part comes in, and it's a stroke of mathematical genius. A manifold, in simple terms, 
is a mathematical space. By constraining each of these information streams to its own separate manifold, DeepSeq ensures they can't interfere with each other. It's like putting concrete barriers between the lanes of a highway. Each stream of information evolves independently, processing the input from a slightly different perspective. Then, at certain points, the model is allowed to mix information between these streams in a controlled way. This prevents the chaotic signal explosion that killed the original hyperconnection idea. It's a system of controlled communication, not a free-for-all. It's the difference between a roaring crowd where no one can be heard and a panel discussion where different experts share their views in a structured way. The results of this new architecture are staggering, and they point directly to a new way of thinking about AI intelligence. When DeepSeq applied this MHC architecture to their 7 billion parameter model, the gains weren't just in simple knowledge recall. They were in the hardest areas for AI, reasoning, and math. On the popular MMLU benchmark, which tests general knowledge and problem solving, the MHC-enhanced model performed on par with models two to three times its size, like LAMA 213B and even approaching LAMA 234B. On GSM 8K, a benchmark for grade school math problems that require multi-step reasoning, it surpassed models much larger than itself. It was thinking better. This is the key. The model wasn't just bigger. It was more efficient with the knowledge it already had. By creating these parallel streams of thought, the MHC architecture seems to give the model a more robust, multifaceted way to reason about a problem. It can explore different lines of reasoning simultaneously and then integrate the results. It is a little like how a human expert might look at a problem from several different angles before arriving at a solution. This isn't just about memorizing more facts. It's about developing a deeper capacity for logic. And DeepSeek achieved this without the crippling costs we've come to expect. Here is the part that should make every AI lab in the world sit up and take notice. DeepSeek managed to quadruple the internal information capacity of their model, creating four parallel streams of thought, with an almost unbelievable increase in training cost. The overhead was only about 6 to 7%. Let that sink in. For a tiny fraction of additional computational cost, they achieved a level of performance that, using the old method, would have required doubling or tripling the model's size, and therefore, the training budget. They found a way to make the model dramatically smarter, not just bigger. During inference, when you're actually using the model, the cost is slightly higher, but the trade-off is a massive leap in reasoning quality for a marginal increase in latency. It's an efficiency gain that completely changes the economics of developing high-performance AI. This isn't just an academic exercise. DeepSeek has already released a suite of models built on this architecture, including a powerful coding model that rivals GPT-4 Turbo. They have proven that this concept works at scale and delivers tangible benefits. What this opens up is a completely new axis for scaling AI. For the last 10 years, we have been on a two-dimensional plane defined by model size and data size. To get a better model, you simply moved up and to the right, spending billions of dollars in the process. DeepSeq has just introduced a third dimension, internal information bandwidth. Now, instead of just making the model bigger, we can make it wider on the inside. We can scale its capacity for complex reasoning without the exponential cost. This has profound implications for the future. It could mean that smaller, more specialized models could achieve the reasoning capabilities of today's giants, making powerful AI accessible to more people and organizations. It could democratize the cutting edge of AI, taking it out of the exclusive hands of a few tech giants with bottomless budgets. This architectural shift from a single, deep stream of thought to multiple, parallel, constrained streams might be the next great leap in artificial intelligence, as fundamental as the residual connection that started it all. DeepSeek didn't just build a better model. They may have just handed the world a new blueprint for building intelligence itself. The race for AI is no longer just about who can build the biggest engine. It's now also about who can design the most efficient one. And right now, a quiet company just lapped everyone.